Welcome to the Z-Hut. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Targus TG-P60T tripod. Now, this tripod, at its shortest folded up, is 23 inches. Its maximum height is 60 inches. Now, it comes with a three-way pan head, but I've got my ball head on here because I use this for photography. And I actually put the pan head off of this on another tripod I got. And after I show you the tripod here itself, I'll switch them and then I'll show you the head. But the main thing about this tripod that I like is the tripod itself, not the head. I prefer ball heads for photography and pan heads work good for video. But that's my choice. Now, the first thing that's awesome about this tripod is you can fold these legs. There's three different positions they'll lock into. And this works handy if you want to have it on the table to get in a little closer. Let me raise this up. And then you, you put it up on the table like this, then you can reach the camera up over the item that you want to photograph and then just extend this leg out till it hits the floor. Now, if you want this lower, as you can see, that's as low as you can go right now. No. Push the two little buttons in the bottom, pull this out, remove the center, unscrew the hook and then that can be mounted in there then you just simply unscrew your head I'm not gonna go ahead and do that I got it tightened up on there pretty good at the moment but you put your head on there and then you can get your camera way down close and you can also and you're about six to eight inches off the ground in that position. And I have used this for doing some macro photography and stuff on the ground, and it works great for that. Then you get it out, you just simply push those two buttons in again. Oops. Stick it back in. Remember to screw your hook on so you don't lose it. Pop it back in. Now this is the main tripod I use when I'm out in the field doing photography. It's nice, lightweight, suits all my needs. I never use a pan head for photography. I just absolutely hate them for that. They're awesome for doing video like I'm doing now. But I prefer the ball head. It's just much nicer to work with. So that's most of the key features. Um, the legs fold out. They're in three sections. It folds out, and you got your hook here. I usually use that if I'm running a cable off the, the camera to something else. I'll clip it around this so I ain't yanking it off the camera. Or... The only thing I do wish is it had, like my other tripod, you can screw the feet in and a point will come out so you can anchor it in the ground. That's the only thing about this tripod I wish it had and it don't. This is what I use almost all the time. Um, once in a great while I also have an, a Targus monopod. I don't use that that often. Um, pretty much if just have it with me if I'm running around doing wildlife photography and you don't want to have to stop and set the tripod up to take a picture of a deer or grouse before it runs away on you. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here for a moment. Switch tripods here so I can show you the head. Um, the tripod I mounted it to, a friend of mine gave it to me and uh, it's from back in the mid to late 90s for a camcorder and that's back when they were the size of rocket launchers and it was missing the quick catch and it was older I looked all over eBay couldn't find one but I remembered I had the head 
pan head from this laying around. So I did a little bit of modification to it to get it to fit on the other tripod. And that's what I shoot all my, my videos with. So we'll be back in just a second to show you the head. Okay. I got the tripod switched around and here's the, <coughs> the fluid head that came with the, uh, the tripod. Nothing spectacular in my mind. Uh, it works. Originally, I took it off the tripod and threw it in the closet. It wasn't going to use it until I got this monster that didn't have a head that worked. And I modified it to make it fit. It didn't just screw on, unfortunately. So it is permanently mounted to this tripod now. But it, it does have some features that are handy. You push the little button there, and you can rotate, change the angle of the camera, and uh, get it to stop where you want. Like you don't have to be straight up or down. You go in between. Just tighten this up, and it'll hold it in place. Down. Then you remove quick attach plate. You just pull that back. It locks into position. You pull it off. You can see it's got cork on there. And the nice thing is you don't need a screwdriver. I've seen other ones where you needed a screwdriver. This, it folds out, and you can turn that to screw it onto your camera. And to put it on, and it'll fit either way. Push down, locks in. And of course, it's got your, your up and down, your pressure. And then, unfortunately, it's just a turn, twist it to lock it. At, uh, another one of the things I didn't like about it the greatest, but for shooting videos here in the studio, it works. It, uh, otherwise, it was just going to go in the garbage or sit in the closet, and, and the handle's just plastic. It isn't even rubberized or nothing. It's pretty much just a beater tripod for shooting videos on in here, and that's about all it'll ever get used for. Um, occasionally I'll use it if I want to have the flash off the camera, and I've got a mount that screws on here that'll hold my flash. Uh, but I do have another small little tripod I picked up at a garage sale I usually use for that. So I guess that's about it for this review. Like I said, the tripod itself is awesome. But the head, it could have been better. So, thanks for watching. And if you found this, this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And we'll hope to see you here again at the Z-Hut.